The government has accepted the NWC guidelines. It says the council's swift response uh, is testament to the strong foundation of tripartism in Singapore. Separately, Manpower Minister Josephine Teo said in a Facebook post that the moves demonstrate the tripartite members' commitment to, quote, to do, quote, what is right. She said that involves sharing the gains in good times, but also sharing the pain in a crisis, with everyone making mutual sacrifices to sustain businesses and save jobs. Mrs. Teo also urged all employers to adopt the guidelines. In supporting the guidelines, the labor movement says companies should treat workers fairly, while the Employers' Federation urged its members to act responsibly. One analyst says the NWC guidelines ensure the workforce can bounce back quickly once the economy picks up. He believes, given the current situation, employers will be receptive to the unconventional schemes such as having a time bank in place of wage reduction and allowing workers to take on a second job. Employers today are very realistic uh, and they understand that uh, their uh, this is a long-term challenge and there is no clear uh, ending uh, to the pandemic, mm -hmm. right? So having uh, that kind of possible, the flexibility, the allowance for them to experiment, uh, to try out different schemes, I think that's very important. Having the scheme alone, I think uh, basically is a signal the policymakers are willing to try uh, and they're able to listen uh, to their needs and be able to adapt and adjust accordingly. Professor Leong says ramping up training programs is also a win-win situation for employers and workers as it ensures they remain productive during the downturn. But he says given the diverse economic landscape, the support schemes may not reach all sectors. You may have certain sectors that are more reliant on foreign workers, for example. So the schemes may not be applicable to these companies that employ a large proportion of the, the workforce in who are foreign workers. So how can such companies be able to adapt, uh, be able to get around those challenges? That, that may be something that uh, policymakers can look into 